Let's discuss now the topic of surgical logbooks. The objective of this presentation is that by the end of it we should be able to share ideas, discuss, adopt or adapt the implementation of a surgical logbook. A surgical logbook is a paper or electronic document where residents register their surgical activity adding enough data so that themselves and the program should be able to assess the quantity and quality of their work, track their progress and promptly identify issues that may hinder their training or patient safety. We need a surgical logbook because a well-planned and filled-in logbook is an excellent tool for teaching residents and also assessing the trainers and the program itself. As we move through the rest of the presentation, we will point out the relation of the data we collect with the contribution they give to this teaching and assessing. Deciding what content you want to include is not an easy task. Collect too little and you will not be able to get the information you want from it. Collect too much and you will find yourself with empty fields because it takes too much time to complete the form. Basically, we can divide this content in three parts. Surgery data, demographics and outcome data. Among the items we collect in surgery data is the feedback the resident gets from the trainer the procedure itself, the steps the resident performed, the reasons for not performing more steps in that surgery, residents' reflections on the feedback they got from their instructor, any complications that may have occurred, and a link to the video of the surgery. In the demographics, at least we collect the date, uh, an identifier for the patient, the resident and the trainer, and the outcome data that may depend on the type of surgery performed, such as retina, plastics, cornea, or phacomusification. Surgery data and demographics should be entered on the same day of the surgery and as soon as possible. This will allow for a more precise recording of feedback and reflections from the resident. The outcome data can be added at a predeterminated date from the surgery. Let's see now how the data collected provides information that allows to assess resident, trainer and program performance. Immediate feedback registering allows to assess how the resident did during the surgery. Its content also allows to assess if the trainer is giving feedback in an appropriate way. The steps performed and the reason why other steps were not performed also allow to assess the resident and trainer. This data should allow to answer some of the following questions. Were the steps chosen to be performed adequate for the level of training of the resident? Were the steps chosen to work specifically on what the resident has been having more difficult lately? Was the reason for non-performing other steps adequate or just impatience from the trainer? Resident reflections allow to answer some other questions. Did the resident understand the feedback? Is the resident taking responsibility for his or her mistakes or blaming outside factors? Is the resident making plans on how he or she will take actions to improve future performance? Regarding complications, the questions to be answered are Had the resident trained enough in wet lab before attempting this step? Was the complexity of the case adequate for the level of training of the resident? Did the trainer have a possibility of anticipating the complication and change places in advance of it? For getting this answer, a video review is mandatory.
Let's talk now about setting up the logbook itself. There are basically three ways to go. One, you develop your own customized database. In this way, you can get exactly what you want, but it's the most costly way of all. Two, you develop it yourself using free software as Google Forms. In this way, you can also get mostly what you want but its consistency is very user-dependent. Because residents need to have access to the database tables directly, unintended or maliciously data deleting or changing could occur. And finally, you can adopt an app that is already in the market. eLogbook is a surgical logbook used by the Edinburgh College of Surgeons and that allows for international users. Residents open their own accounts and give access to the supervisors that also need to open an account. We have been using for several years the two first options and now we are exploring the possibility of using eLogbook. Summarizing, a surgical logbook is a paper or electronic document where residents register the surgical activity adding enough data so that themselves and the program should be able to assess the quantity and quality of their work, track their progress, and promptly identify issues that may hinder their training or patient safety. For implementing an electronic logbook, you have at least three options. You develop your own customized database, you develop it yourself using free software as Google Forms, or you can adopt an already developed app available on the web. If you have any questions regarding this presentation, you can post your, present, your uh, questions at the bottom of uh, this uh, video.